The perception of surface stains and how to imitate natural heat. I was just finalizing this article and I thought it's a good idea to share with you this nice introduction about the IPS ivocolor stains. As you all know, natural tooth color depends on two dental structure optical properties, the enamel and the dentin. Well, starting with the enamel, enamel, as you know, is both high translucent and opalescent as a result of the hydroxyapatite crystals that uh, like compose enamel rods. These features and optical properties must be reproduced to create natural looking restorations. Now, how our stain system works here to really imitate natural teeth or to imitate these optical properties, starting with the translucent part, the most important is translucent part is, is consists of the, the blue group and the gray group. The gray bundle of stains reduces the brightness. This is exactly how it works. It starts by reducing the brightness, by dimming the light and creating light absorption, making the surface underneath it, underneath it appears translucent. While blue on the other side, the, the blue violet bundle of stain on the other side leads to the appearance of opalescence. Now, the appearance of opalescence depends on how light interacts with the enema. So reflected light turns to bluish, while refracted light turns more to orange, just like how the prism would work. Now, on the other side, we have the dentin. Dentin comprises of inorganic and organic components. The inorganic portion consists of hydroxyapatite crystals. Hydroxyapatite crystals creates intense light scattering, resulting in chroma and high value as well. So we get the brightness or the high value from the white cream. So white cream group can be used to increase the value, while the other group of orange, yellowish can be used to imitate Dantin chromatic color. 